What's going on guys? Welcome back to one of the final, most likely, M19 drafts. There might be like five more. I, I guess that's not, a, a, I don't know if that's a lot or not. Either way, there's a cube coming this week, so we're going to be doing that soon. And then we can put this format to bed. We probably won't be doing a, a tremendous amount until Ravnica, because even after that, there's a, there's a gap after the cube. And then there's another cube before that, so. What are we taking here? Either way, welcome. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'm your host. The re reassembled skeleton. Are we just going Falcons? Should we just take the Falcon? Literally just slam the not best pick and just play it? Welcome to the internet. How many of these does it take to make a good deck? That's my question. The pack is not good. All right, here we go. We're going, we're going deep here, boys. And then we got these guys and this in this pack and this, and I just want the inspired charge because of this guy, but it might be aviation pioneer if we're going. No, we're going green though, right? All right, rabbit bite. So before you guys, uh, before you uh, armchair magic explainers in the comments start telling me that I've made the wrong pick, and I'm I'm absolutely terrible. Uh, just be aware before you uh, before you spout off that these were conscious decisions that were made in the name of fun. Okay, and if you don't know what that word means, head on over to dictionary.com. They got you covered. I'm gonna take Oaken form. We're gonna put on this guy. Boston makes me feel good. Oh, a Vigilant Bailoff? Okay. Probably better than Dreadmaw, I think. 5-5 five, five versus 6-6. Six, six. One mana cheaper Vigilance instead of Trample. Double green versus double green. Now this guy, huh? All right. I'm just gonna take all these green idiots, and with we have one, one, one rust swing Falcon. <laughs> it's like he's given up. <laughs> it's like he just doesn't care anymore. I want to take this dwarven priest. We're gonna go wide with the Falcons, and then we're just gonna be like gain 15 life. He thinks he's gonna get 15 Falcons. Talons, beautiful, beautiful. This deck is everything I wanted except for the Valkans. Give me more Valkans. I sent an email last week about a Lohortory deck. Are you passing on that? Uh, definitely not passing on that. Um, I don't think I've ever passed on one just because I have enjoyed them. And uh, I probably just have not gotten back to you yet. Especially because it was the weekend. It's nine. I see it was August 9th of their day. Yeah, that was Thursday you sent it. Yeah, I just haven't gotten back to it. I'll get, I'll, be, I'll get back to you after the stream tonight. So, um, I'm just going to go Priest again. Yeah, whatever. He sold all his cards just to draft M19 one more time. He loved it that much. It was that close to him. Mm. Josh, you definitely do, buddy. I would love to see it. And I swear to God, if it sucks, Josh, we are going to have words. Make it not suck, Josh. Make it not suck. Do you hear me, Josh? I need it to not suck. Don't think this card. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Nah, it's fine. Eh, where are all my where are all my Valkins go? Where are all my Valkins at? I 
Would have taken the Highland game if I knew that second recollection was coming back. Recollect, not recollection, guys. Recollect. It's not called recollection, okay? Oh, an amulet safe keeping. Got there. Just kidding. That card is hot trash. I'm going to take this Herald of Faith. Seems like a pretty easy pick. Guys, it's an easy pick, okay? I like Pride Mate here. We got Double Priest and a Herald. Yeah, this is a Pride Mate deck. Watch this deck just be really good even without the Valken. Bustin, 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 bustin. Oh, Knightly Valor? I'm on board. I think it's better than all these other options we got. Oh yeah, give me that Knightly Valor. Where are my little birds at? I'm actually uh, much less on Elvish Rejuvenator because it does end up putting a lot of your guards on the bottom and then you just don't even have land. That being said, I'm going to take it. <sighs> Is anybody reading Deathstroke, the DC comic? I don't know if it's any good. And I'm kind of... Every cover I see of it looks very, very good. Like, this is the cover from the newest one. I'll show you in a second. Well, it's a variant, but it's still a cover. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? They all look very good. Oh, I think what we want to do. And so I'm always real tempted. I'm like, oh, God, maybe I should be reading this. But, again, the cover art does not is not usually indicative of the inner art. And, you know, I don't know if it's any good. Anyway. I don't know if you guys read comics. I don't think it's gotten demonetized yet. It's still, mo it's still monetized currently, I believe. Oh, Valken number two. I'm gonna take that over gift because it's our this is the plan. Oh, Pegasus Courser? That's a that's a nice little That's a nice little late boy. Oh, Rex Sage in the main? Better than invo invoke invokey. Rabbit bite? That's a late rabbit bite, man. Is our deck actually good? McGimp, what's going on, my boy? What's going on, me boy? I want to take this archer and maybe just splash it. This card's very good. Now nah, I wish I took the gift. I don't wish I took the gift. I wanted the Falcon. I think Talons is better than Oakenform. Uh, for one, you can get it back, and for two, the Trample is extremely relevant on cards like Baloth or Herald. Or even like putting on a Dwarven Priest and they just can't jump block it anymore. That's a late Corrosion. I'm going to make someone's day with that. I do not need a third Recollect. Uh, I like playing one because it gets back your bombs like Herald or... You know, Herald, I guess. Hmm. I'm going to main the Giant Spider, so I'll take that over the Plummet. Boom. Oh, a miss caller. Nailed it. Planets come full circle. JK, all these rares suck. I hate life. No, just kidding. That was really dark. I'm going to take this Meteor Golem because it's a very good dude. I really just want a review of this Deathstroke series.
Here's one from November. You should read Deathstroke and you should read it today. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Yeah, all right. I'll probably read it. Dang it. They got me. Valken over Sarkron Stag? Yeah, that's how we do in this stream. That's how we do. I'm going to take this Dryad Greenseeker. Alrighty then. Highland game, you can get right the hell out of here. Oh, double poison tip archer? That's just a better giant spider. Twitching makes me feel good. Whatever, I'll take this big idiot. Let's not pretend we're going to play two dwarven uh, gentlemen. I don't know if that helped at all. Probably not. Wow, that is a late Lena. That's going right into the deck. Boop! Oh, I heard you got the death stroke. I'm so sorry. Well, I don't care about any of these cards. I'll take the Woodland Stream just in case you want to splash cancel. <laughs> We're never doing that. This is a late Druid. It's a late Rex Sage. And that's a cool plummet. I think we're just going to take the Druid here. Maybe we're not white. We got three Valkans. How could we not be white? I don't understand the words that you're saying. Oh, um, maybe I want this Rupture Spire for the Poison Tip Archers over the Basilisk. Yeah, I think we do. Foul Orchard is actually exactly what we wanted. That's pretty good. I think everyone... Mike, weren't we going to plan to go to the Portland GP together? Don't try to convince me of plans that I'm already sold on, man. That's like me being like, Hey, Mike, everyone in here should convince you to go to, to, go to BlizzCon this year. But I'm already going. I don't understand. I already am doing that. What is going on right now? Got to make two cuts here, huh? Hey, Frank, board of the set yet? Yes. Yes, I am. Are we in a Johnny's Pride Mate deck? We have Dwarven Priest and Herald, and that's kind of it. That seems like a, that seems like a, that's going to be a no for me, I think. That's going to be a pass. I like Druid. I like Green Seeker. I like Rabbit Bites and Talons, especially with these guys. I can cut you. I like Recollect a lot. There's a lot of powerful cards in here. We might not need it in the main deck. I think this is probably fine. This is where I want to be. Orchard Spire. I think we can go one here, because that gives us uh, three sources plus the... Rejuvenator to potentially hit one, and we only have two four drops. So seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight. Done. This deck is exciting. You like Recollect over Priest? Yeah, I kind of do too, actually. I kept the Priest because I figured we were still on the uh, the Ajani's Pride Mate plan. We are not. And, you know, Busted makes me feel good, so what, what can you do, you know? Join it. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. If we can get a planes here, this hand's actually pretty okay. I don't think that makes it good though. This hand is good. This hand is very, very good. I'm gonna actually put you on the bottom because we have more than enough ways to get mana. My turn two was better than your turn two. Oh yeah, we broke the game. Give me a black source, don't be a rupture spire. Give me a foul orchard or a swamp. You know what, I'll take it. I'll take it. This set looks so boring to draw. Wow, that's rude. What's it like being that rude? No, it was a drunk. Thank you for the resub. And Unhinged Island, thank you so much for the cheers. One, <laughs> wait, we can have fun, bug. <laughs> oh, how did I not see those? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go make sure the volume is on for the notifications. Boy, this guy really puts a... A, uh, a kink in our, our Valken plan, doesn't he? Well, that's cool. Hope you're real proud of yourself. What? I have a 1 3. Why would you attack with a 2 2? I don't understand what's happening right now. This is very weird. None, none of this makes any sense. Saturday in the park. I think it was a Pegasus Corsa. Murdered. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A man selling ice cream. Oh, now you're getting in there with this guy. All right. A bold strategy, Cotton. Well, let's see if it pays off. I am just going to be floating over your brain. <laughs> Singing Italian songs. <laughs> What is this, Chicago? What am I singing right now? I mean, as long as I don't have Rabbit Bite, we're in good shape. No, well, that's obnoxious. This makes a lot of big, big creatures. I guess we're just taking six here. We could just chump block one of them. Yeah, three is probably the most they're going to prevent with this guy, so that seems fine. You know our love was meant to be From the night until the end of time That's a good song. This is a big old Pegasus We're gonna fly on by mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nine, yeah. Well, I just want to sit. I want to hit a black source. We only have one black source that doesn't come into play. Uh, oh, yeah. Billy Biscuits. What is that? What the hell is Billy Biscuits? He's just saying things. Fly on down to the other side. 
What is this? It's not a it's not a rabid bite. So what do you got here? What do you got here, drive hard? Drive hard is like walk hard, but with a car instead. This, I mean, this is all right because we know we have a playable card on top, but I'm worried about the, the time where we get like... How lucky. Lucky, 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 lucky. You didn't attack with this guy? I don't understand. Like, we're looking for a black source or a revoker because this guy's very, very good after we have that, but... Not invoker, reclamation sage. I'm thinking invoke. I'm getting invoke and reclamation sage. What do you think of reserve list? Do you invent... No. I don't really I don't really care about the reserve list one way or the other. Like they know we have that, there's no real point. I mean, I think it's fine for people who do invest in the reserve list. I think it's uh, it is literally demonstrated to be a completely solid investment, more so than like the stock market or cryptocurrency, so. Hmm. You. One, two, three, and we'll just chump block something big. So we'll take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, can't do that, I guess. <laughs> mm-hmm. So the the least we're taking is you probably have to just block here and we take three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, go to one. Yep, that was a good game. I don't think we have any other way to kill artifacts or enchantments, so I guess we're just reliant on that one. Yeah, this hand seems reasonable, I guess. It's not great, but it's not terrible. And that's the important part. Presumably we'll get something to do before turn four. Like a uh, Rejuvenator slash Green Seeker Dryad. Or just a Rupture Spire. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if a lot of people didn't get notifications today. It seemed like it was a particularly slow start today. Thank you. Dan Omak, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be pretty difficult keeping it over 350 for any given amount of time. I feel like that was just... Wow. Fucking amazing. Jesus Christ. You will. You do me a favor and let me know when you don't have it. That'll be great. I just get the pass here. Tweet 
Twitch changed their notification policy, huh? Fascinating. See, this is why I like the countdown screen, because it gives me a chance to actually... Are you just dead here? Basically. Cool. Yeah, I can't wait for this format to be over. I'm actually not having any fun whatsoever. If colossal means terrible and game losing, then I agree. My dread mom was looking quite colossal. I'll keep this based on dried green seeker alone. Back to Dominaria, that doesn't sound good at all. Um, Dan Omak, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Although you've been, uh, you know, it's been three months, so it's our three-month anniversary. So that's pretty good. Congratulations, buddy. I just want the cube. I just want to draft cube right now. Yeah, this is our Valken deck, and uh, we haven't drawn a single Valken in three games. <laughs> cube starts Wednesday as all cubes start. See, the problem with drafting the fun deck is that when you lose, even if our deck is good, though, like, I think we have a good deck. I think our deck is fine. Meteor Golem, Lino, like, a bunch of big guys. We have uh, Double Rabid Bite. I'm actually just going to trade here. We don't really have any efficient way to break through damage. And um, this guy's probably going to deal, like, probably, like, 12 damage by the time we actually... Uh, All right, we did it. Do we want one more? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right. Um, that seems bad. All right, we're just going to pass here. Might just want another swamp in the deck. I'm pretty sure we do. I feel like, and I feel like we get to this point at the end of every season, right? Like at the end of Dominary, we were exactly the same way. Um, it's this difference between like, I don't want to keep like, I'm so like, I'm so bored of doing the same things in this format over and over and over. Oh, Christ. Okay. I guess we're drawing this and then not doing anything. I guess we'll get this guy back because we have literally nothing else to do. Here's the Mana Screw game, which is unfortunate because game one, we didn't lose the Mana Screw. We just lost two. You know, their deck being better than ours or drawing better, you know, 
having the removal spell at the right times or having double angel, whatever. It doesn't matter. We lost the match. Um, so that means we're, we're down to... I'll just take the land at this point. There we go. We did it. Um, there's six mana and they haven't done anything. What's even going on? All right. So, like, in order to break the monotony of, like, playing the format and being like, God, I just don't want to draft this same deck again. I don't want to I don't want to draft Sapperlings again. I don't want to draft, you know, the Artifact deck again. Like, it's, so it just gets obnoxious. So you're like, let me break the monotony. I'll do something fun. And then when you do the fun thing, you end up losing anyway. So you're like, oh. Well. This is awkward for everybody. Yeah, we're just gonna play this. Um, oh, Nugget, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Um, what are we doing here? I feel like both of these are gonna lead for lead to a blow with a strangling soot. I don't think we can not do it though. Do you ever have it where the added the added to collection screen is small and you can't see anything? No, I don't think so. I don't know. What, I don't know what you mean. Yeah, this um, this is better because we got the we at least we got the value out of it. What's a strimmer? I don't know, but I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, lands lands a plenty. Is there going to point to attacking? Yes, because if they do have Strangling Soot, they can't bring this guy back and Strangling Soot in the same turn. They didn't even block? What's the point of having a reassembling skeleton? If you're not even going to let him reassemble, just let the man reassemble, man. I want to put this on here because if they have, if they draw Strangling Soot, it makes it dead. Uh, same thing with like lightning strike so it turns off a lot of draws if they don't have them already and if they do kill this we just get this back it's not a big deal so Seven. We have four. We can also just play Lena. Make four dudes. That's actually pretty good, I guess. I have no idea. What do I? I, I keep saying strangling. So whatever. Yeah, I have no idea. What's up, Thune Air? Uh, yeah, this is probably game. I don't actually think there's any black or red sweepers in this format, so... What are we, like, terrified of here? I don't think there's anything, really. I think our Herald is probably dead. Yep. That's a removal spell. Boy, this is an interesting turn of events. 
Skull and V. Take it easy, buddy. Don't think so hard. I hope they're fixed, though. Rabid Bite. Hmm. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope. Why would you make a Why would you make a black when you know Why would you make a green when you don't want a black? I don't understand. Five. They just go block, block. Yeah, that's actually fine. They have no cards in hand. That's pretty good. Block here, block, block, block. Then they, they go to four. Could have put Oaken form on this guy as well. The thing we don't want is we don't want them to actually say if we if we go to rabbit bite this, they just sacrifice it and then we have no profitable attacks. At least now they're trading if they choose to block. And that basically puts them to one, and we can kill their Lena. And then they're dead. Poison Tip, our, our, our archer just did like 10,000 damage. And I love somebody always on my mind. Oh, actually, we wanted to put another swamp in, didn't we? Yeah, probably. Done. Do it. Do it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Freaking beautiful. It's a beautiful. My hand is gorgeous. When you love somebody, always on my mind. Who got Chicago stuck in my head? Because you guys, you're not good. Whoever it is has a real has a real problem. Oh, a little Bruto Bruto toot. Uh, I'm gonna do it now because we're yeah free draw. Oh my god, it's so good. Archer, Valken, Druid, Oaken form. I don't actually mind losing a bunch of those, so that's fine. Harold coming up. Harold coming up. I want the world to know. No blocks because that's not how blocking works. Hmm. Play Herald here. Take another three. I think it's actually correct. Because next turn we can go uh, these two or just this. We don't get to do anything this turn, but I think I'm okay with that. That's a, that's a risk I'll take.
Give me one more land for old time's sake. Thank you. I've drawn three cards off this, so. Or two. Yep. When you love somebody. deal god I was hoping they'd forget this had reach they always do one two three yeah we're 100% doing this Tim what's going on buddy <laughs> get him Get him. Don't be active treasoning, my guy, though. Don't let you caress him either now that you've hit your fifth land. Don't do anything, in fact. Just let me win the game. Hmm. Well, that's pretty brutal. Oh, a wedding fridge, eh? Those are the best kinds of fridges. Are they? I'm actually going to play the planes because if they're on some kind of stupid discard strategy, I don't really want to be having anything to discard, especially when they have Fell Spectre on board. So. I need to love somebody. Don't care about that at this late in the game. Why did I do that last turn? Well, it's mana flooded this time. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted. I mean, if this isn't a telegraph for a pump spell, I don't know what it is, but I don't care. Oh, actually, maybe we don't do it then. We have yet to draw one Rustwing Falcon in uh, four games, so.
I did not go to GP Orlando. It's an interesting attack. Yep, that's all I need to see. They actually have a bunch of flyers. So I'm just going to board these guys out, bring in you, bring in you. What up, Denmark? I'll bring in you. Sand is stupid. The sand is actually worse. Good luck. Post Moldafor, good luck. I like it. Good times. Uh, any card they draw is probably going to be a beating because we mold the four, so... Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't I can't I can't have a sick brew in limited and uh, there's no real point of having faith when you literally can't play your spells like that's this magic is not a faith based game so unfortunately I, I do not think these strategies are gonna hold out also like if you if you know that like you're gonna lose and you you're 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 pretty convinced of it uh, based on evidence um, having faith is just really you're just prolonging the the yeah, like, what are we doing here? Like, nothing. This is literally dumb. Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this, uh, this Rustwing Falcon draft. We're in five games. We didn't draw a single Rustwing Falcon. Um, hopefully we don't have to go through this any, any, any longer. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to be actually doing another M19 draft because I think the format is pretty much done for me. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate the support. Really, uh, you know, slam the like and subscribe button to do the thing. I'm going to go do something else. I'll see you next time.